This is what I call my power pod. It's changed a few times since I've been tinkering with it. Started off uh, with a base about that size. Hey guys. Started off at that size, which is a little bit short for backyard use, but uh, it's great for on a roof. Um, I've got the little two by fours stuck to the bottom of it, It'll make a kind of a cushion for the roof. But this one is sitting on the ground, uh, a lot of weight on the bottom of it, and it makes it pretty stable even with the turbine that tall. Of course, with an eight foot fence, it needs to be a little bit taller yet to. Uh, reach where the wind is but since I don't get a whole lot of wind anyway my focus has been on the solar panels and I just made a, a purchase I've got two 100 watt panels that I'll be mounting on that so to be able to mount the bigger panels that whole this whole uh, assembly has to be raised up I think I'm gonna have to raise it a foot um, you know, raise it about a foot. I'll, I'll try that first, but it, it's adjustable, so I'll be able to change it over here. I just have to to make legs that are adjustable as well. So that's what this video is about: is this new new addition to the power pot. Okay. In this box, so uh, Renogy is the brand. There's two 100 watt monocrystalline panel a little bit bigger than what I've got so that's what I'm making the adjustments for monocrystalline is the only thing I use because I'm trying to get as much power out of as small an area as possible um, when I'm mounting to the, the power pod I don't want wings so if I'm using a, a lower power panel I, it has to take up more space these are usually packed pretty good. Um, of course, it doesn't have tape on it, so anybody, anybody who's shipping it, anybody who's, who's handling it in, the, in its travel can open it up and take a peek. Um, nice packing. face to face. Isn't that pretty? I like that a lot. So it'll be these two side by side on the power pod. I think I'll leave the other one in the box while I do some measuring. I just have to, I'll measure one since they're identical so I can go ahead and do the layout on the uh, on the braces. looks a little naked right now when I first did this I was thinking small panel because this whole thing was smaller at the time uh, now that I'm I know that I can go bigger this square should have been uh, anywhere up to 24 inches so 24 two two foot by two foot square and I have to use a longer actuator but that that brings it up but that would give it a lot more uh, holding strength and high wind and the next time I do this that's the way it's going to be there's the panels assembled on the frame with the actuator uh, still on there it has gotten hot. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Temperature 
110 and that's inside the shade uh, inside the shop I guess it's not quite the hottest part of the day but uh, and even though so it's 110 inside the shop 110 inside the shop that's 102 out there I think I prefer in the shop but Neither place is adequate right now. I'm going to go in and get cool. This may wait until it gets cooler, which will mean sometime tomorrow morning. The legs are a little bit longer. I still kept them adjustable. So I had to drill a bunch of holes in a new piece of angle. Or another old piece of angle that I'm reusing. And uh, that should get the panel up nice and high. So it's time to put everything back together again. Trucker. Trucker. Too much power. Let's just turn. We're going to turn the fridge on and turn on the dump, turn on the fridge, and see if that still makes enough power to uh, put that on the uh, dump. Uh oh. What happened? You may have noticed when it was laying on the ground, I had uh, assembled that, that there was just uh, two aluminum struts that held those panels together and attached them to the frame. I wasn't real happy with that, so I went ahead and added uh, two more steel struts. I don't like the notches too much, but I think it's about as equal or maybe a little, still a little bit stronger than the aluminum channel by itself. So. Four pieces, that ought to handle it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, what are you guys doing? Hmm? Chase. Bye, Chase. It seems to be working. Nice sunshiny day. Uh, about 10, 10 o'clock in the morning, a little bit after. So it's uh, producing enough power to run my uh, dehumidifier full time, which is what I was attempting to do this with this project. This is what I'm running, and if you'd like to see more about this, check out the uh, next video, um, Water from Air Part 2. Thanks for watching. And take care until next time.
may want to build another power pod. Um, don't really have the money to do it. So if anybody would like to uh, help out with that project, I'd appreciate it. Give you an idea of the cost. The turbine, the materials that go into that are around $300. The uh, Freedom 2, uh, a little over $400, I think. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Um, the base is around $100. Uh, various sizes of uh, square tubing and angled steel. I think that's around 80 bucks. A pair of 100 watt solar panels. Well, that was about $300. And we got the uh, the actuator. There we go. Actuator and the little uh, controller jobber, control deal. And the sensor that was about $85. Uh, so you got bricks that are about two bucks a piece, so it's you can tell that adds up pretty quick. If you'd like to contribute to help help out with these projects, I don't have a Patreon page because I don't want to obligate anybody to. Uh, a monthly payment or a, a certain amount for each video since I don't put out videos very often and um, you probably feel cheated but uh, there's a different ways to make one-time contributions you got the uh, Google support button on my uh, YouTube page that's one way of course I won't know who you are they don't uh, they don't let me know who donates through that. I've only had a couple donations and I knew that I got them, but I didn't know who gave them to me. Another way is the uh, PayPal button in the description of the video. And I nobody's tried that yet, but I'm pretty sure they would let me know who contributes that way. Problem is, uh, they charge a fee for that, so that would come out of my pocket or my donation. The third way might be if you have a PayPal account, you are able to transfer money to friends and all you need is the email address. So if you'd like to send me a little money and you don't want uh, anybody to take any other part of it, which would be great on small amounts, you know, like a, a $2 donation, if I get the whole $2, that's, that adds up quick. So you could send it through PayPal to littleshoppintexas at gmail.com using your PayPal account and uh, I'll get the whole contribution. After all, if you're going to send me money, you're a friend of mine. <laughs>